All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Mob, Mob Psycho 100, 100 Season 2, two Episode 5. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh boy. Mogami so, Keiji um, yeah, and Mob yeah, uh, are going to be duking it out. Uh, let's but hope it's not, they're duking it out. But it's not going to start out that way. It's going to be this uh, kind of meta psychological warfare done against mob but oh. mob is going to be unaware yeah maybe yeah. he'll uh -huh, start to uh -huh. become well, aware i don't think so and that's the tough part and, yeah uh, yeah that is the tough part i is don't want he has our wholesome boy to get griffith basically and this is along a similar vein there so. is a lot of potential for really nasty things to be done to yeah. mobs not only his his psyche but also who he is as a person to where from here on out mm -hmm. like yeah. He's mm -hmm. not necessarily damaged, but, but he altered. can be changed and that that's yeah. Because Mob's yeah. always been about <sighs> like kind of like he's identified that self improvement and just kind of building himself right, right. is what he's you know, what he what he wants and stuff. But will that change if he starts to again separate the whole I don't know, I don't know. You know, the whole aspect of what he is as a person, given mm -hmm. that right now and we're how he in thinks a, about other people and he, yes, yeah, how uh -huh. he relates to them yep, and yep, how he yep, sees yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. his own progression of right. improvement. There's yeah, so many yeah, crazy I, things that I feel like this is this is uh, this is an episode that could define Mob Psycho as a as an experience for oh, me. Oh yeah. In some ways I would say it already has. Like, in some ways it already like, has. Because they can't they can't not have crazy stuff happen here after everything they did. I yeah. Mean, maybe. And and who says like anything's uh, gonna be resolved in the next episode. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah. We might be in this chat forever. Yeah, we might be here for a long while. So y'all, this is crazy. Mob Psycho one hundred, let's get into it. Butterfly. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, that's Mogami KG is going to be directly involved in the whole meta there. That's gotcha. going to be his avatar in the whole okay, okay. world trap thing. That Set makes me mob. that Get makes me ready. much less scared. Yeah, same here. Because down, you know, if it has hit can points, you feel your satisfaction. It. Well said. Your mob, can you feel your frustration? Coming down, can, can you, you feel, feel your satisfaction? satisfaction? Your, your mob, what, what you want, want to be? be. I'm a Hanra, Chite, Tegashiwa, Mini, Mote, to break it down. Genke, Kokoi, Miru, Keshike, Wa, Randy, 9.9, 99.9. Shota, Fume, Uta, Pusas, and Tejiji. Found a rubber, brown, brown, brown. Ride my life, could ride my side, could ride my heart in such uncommon places. Is that your deep? Is that your line? Is that in Hitaru, Kuka, Janju? The mob inside, the mob inside, the mob is the inverse latent untruth. Is that your duty? Is that your why? In my sugu. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, your life is your own. Get ready, ready to set me off, mob. Get ready, did you ever have mob? Get ready, ready to set me off, mob. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Discord! Hey, At everyone. I love Discord. <laughs> yeah. Save mob. <laughs> the color tones are much more gray and darker. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> so he's claiming no direct involvement uh -huh. in there. Right. Oh. Whoa. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. No. Oh. oh. No way. Whoa. 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 Jeez. Wow. Oh. oh my gosh. This is crazy. 
ジーズ。死んだ。最後まで病の原因は分からず。ナス術がなかった。悪霊と化した。ああ。全部正だ。ああ、ダウリメスエニワンアップ。オッケー。彼女の中に居座った最を加えられる。ホーリークラップ。それ
Wow. <laughs> yeah. Is this is this gonna be like the beginning from uh, season one? This reminds me a lot of uh, Madoka Magica, actually. Oh. oh my gosh! Come on, come on! Is that Asagiri? I think so. Yes! Yes! Oh! Come on! Right! <laughs> Oh, here we go with the music. Okay, here we yeah. go. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Bob! All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's still, it still, still going. This is it. And it's Kaya Shigeru. <laughs> this is, this is, this is like when he was at a thousand percent. It was, you know, the gratitude. He knows what he wants. Yeah. Oh, is this happiness? Or courage? Oh, courage, yeah. courage at a hundred percent. Yo! <laughs> Exactly. Positive, negative. Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Uh. What? What is going on? What even on? is this? Oh, we're just getting started. Okay. He's like putting cracks in the actual world. Like. Nice. Oh, no, this is about Mob losing his sense of self, like they were saying. Whoa, whoa. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Studio Bones. Yeah. You just. He just won't let up! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to almost get like, you know, like the epic battle uh -huh. fatigue of just like, yeah. this is just still going! And it keeps getting crazier. It keeps building and building. <laughs> oh, oh crap. Mob's sense of self. Question mark, the identity, he just doesn't know who he is now. Well, he's become the being of, of his actual power. Don't end the episode right here. Don't you end the episode right here. What if they time skipped? He had been in there for like years and years uh -huh. fighting. Oh. oh! Oh, that's what he was waiting for all this time! Wait, he just got Mogami! Oh! Oh! Well, he was weak. He couldn't. He couldn't do anything. So he trapped. He genius. Okay. Oh, All this right. is perfect. Oh my God! And she's saved. And she's saved. Oh no. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. 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 
何がは変われるってこと僕も誰かを変えられるかもしれないって分かったから会えてよかったよ<笑>ありがとう OK 同級生の男子だと言ったな中学生なんていないんだ<笑><笑>頼んでもいないのにできなかった悪霊を除霊して<笑>名乗らずに。かっこいいね。またいつか会いたいな。引っかかるあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあーあー<laughs> so the cult got. Wait, wait, no, no, no. That that could have been Regan's pay or the cult getting money. I think that he was right. It was that the helmet people getting yeah, the money. Yeah, I think I think it was the cult. <laughs> they got like five million, yeah, five hundred million yen. So like five five million dollars. Yeah. Mom, Donald. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Reagan. Wow. <laughs> Wait, is this the next episode's preview? Probably. Okay, I guess so we'll watch it. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. That went very well. All it went, things considered. It went exceptionally like, well. That like, could have been so much worse. Like, not, I'm not <sighs> talking about episode quality. I'm just talking about our boy mob. Like, like oh. I, I, I gotta say, like, the 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 stuff that he had to go <sighs> through in those six months, which I am impressed with them deciding to have it be a large period of time. Mm -hmm. Because they Good wanted job. to spend, actually, a lot of the episode on the fight and the post, yes. you know, right. moments and stuff. Yep, yep. Post-dream sequence mm -hmm. kind of thing. And instead of having it be as direct of involvement from him, it was like very indirect involvement from Mogami Keiji to influence right. uh -huh. mob. It was basically just a no, this is what would have happened. It's a right. it's a it's a it's yeah. a wonderful life kind of, you know, mm -hmm. what would have happened if we removed this one element from your life. Right. Yeah, he might have he might have instigated some of the bullies yes. since those were just sort of nameless, faceless people, and then mm -hmm. and then when uh, Asagiri uh, came in then she sort of ended up getting you know swept along with the yes the mob yeah the mob mentality mentality yeah yeah and and um, also um things ended up having a directly inverse kind of uh reaction or different uh, inverse result with regards to what mogami keiji was trying to do because oh, uh -huh. his his efforts were pointed towards Mob becoming uh, essentially another version of him. Right. Because him and Mob had a lot of similarities. Like, oh, yeah. Like, if you look at yeah. Mogami's story growing mm -hmm. up, it, it makes sense yep. why he ended up the way he did. And and if Reagan and, and Dimple hadn't been able to intervene, yep. Mob would have ended up like him. Yes, is... very much so. Oh. My favorite part this episode, you're going to, like think this is really sappy but my favorite part is when mob's phone calls actually yeah because that was that was awesome the thing is is that i i this episode had so much stressful stuff going mm -hmm. on just so much just energy oh, yeah. to it that i, yep. I had trouble yep. like processing my emotions but this scene thinking back on it mm -hmm. is just so good because if you think about what yeah. mob's life is like if you think about his daily life mm -hmm. he doesn't have he doesn't have very many like really close friends that actively engage to be right. close to him mm -hmm. so, even with the body improvement club it's yeah. like he's he's with them and stuff but but the activity is the focus right exactly it's not each other as a person i would yeah. say yeah and ritsu is good but he is not mm -hmm. an active in you know dedicated you know initiator into mob's right. life mm -hmm. and then you have people like uh, hanazawa i love they brought up hanazawa and yeah you have, they need to bring him back yes they need to bring him back for sure oh. but reagan mm -hmm. is constantly yep calling on mob almost annoyingly mm -hmm. so yep, yep. Being like i need you and here's the thing i think that's really yep. important for for mob is that it's not really as much that he has a lot of friends or that he's popular and he has mm -hmm. a lot of connections and stuff it's that he needs to know that he's valued that he's right. needed that he's wanted yeah. and uh -huh. i was once he yep. basically started going into saying things like ah 
I just realized people can change. And I, I you know, yeah. I realized that I need to be more grateful for yes. the people that I have around because me. Because it is I am so blessed. Rare like, and, yeah, uh-huh, and and then yeah. Mogami's just like, well, yep. crap. Like this yeah. all just went sideways. Uh-huh, yep. But I, I'm so glad I called it basically because I was like, yes, everyone is valuable. And then like three lines later, he says, no one is worthless. And I was like, oh, that's, 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 yes. because, <laughs> because what that is, what that is, is that's talking about mob. That's right, talking exactly. about mob. Yep, yep, yep. He's, mm-hmm. He is worth, he's so yep. valuable, so yep. valuable. It has yep. nothing to do with, with his, his powers. Yep. It has mm-hmm. nothing to do mm-hmm. with right. um, how smart he is, how physically strong he is. It's just yep. that he is a person yep. and that he brings something to where he can be a positive force to change other people's lives. Exactly. It's, it's so good. Yeah. And then saying that other people, even Mogami Keiji, even Mogami Keiji, yeah, exactly, exactly. is actually worth something, is actually right. valuable as a person. And he can change too. Yeah. And he can change too. It's just, yeah. Yep. Like, yep. Of this yep. show, mm-hmm. like that's yeah, that that's, right there. That that's whole the good bit stuff. right there. That's, that's the, the good, good stuff. stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and then of course the the things like, for instance, the fact that the the helmet cult got five equivalent to five million dollars. <laughs> that's also that so- that's also great. I can't wait to see how. <laughs> You know what's funny though? What? You know what's funny? I think what basically happened was the dad was like, huh, that's interesting. And then she basically pulled the daddy, please. And he's like, well, I guess right. it might end up it might end up being a form of thanks that we can give right. to exactly. Bob. Yep. Yep. So we'll they have do no this. idea that he's they have no idea. With Reagan. Right. Yeah. Right. So so <laughs> they, they weren't paying Reagan right. because they Reagan don't know. Didn't do it. You know, yeah, exactly. But, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> All Reagan had to do, you doofus, was sign the guest list with uh-huh. like and mob as a assistant or something. Right, right. Or or just say or just like call them afterwards and be like, Oh yeah, that was that was my assistant, you know. As and he could do it as a way of like mm-hmm. giving Mob the credit of like I had nothing to do with it, kind of a thing. It was all my assistant, but but yeah. But you know why Reagan doesn't do that too, right? It's because all because, the people that got hurt. Yeah. Well, because all the people that got hurt, yes. And that's probably the main reason, but I'm talking about the kind of the joke reason. The joke reason oh, is that-, that the money would go straight to Mob, and then Mob <laughs> would never work for him anymore. <laughs> so, right. It's, so in yeah. some ways, Reagan is kind of taking the hit financially by not because well, Reagan could try and spin it as being like, you know, I, you know, sure, you know, I was involved with this and stuff, and I'll make. He's like, give the money to me. I'll make sure to pay. It him was our. Or, it was our company. It was and our company. Right. He'll get his share. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, mom, you get twenty dollars. No, 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 no. He'll say you get like twenty thousand dollars. You know, like sure. Like, <laughs> and and eighteen of that I'm putting in a trust fund for you, so that it's properly. You know, <laughs> I hate how we kind of make fun of the way Reagan does kind of use mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the thing is, is that Reagan has shown that he is a trustworthy guy. Right. He he, he cares he really about does mob. care about mob. He really does care about mob mm-hmm. as a person. Yeah. And he sees his value beyond his powers. And it's anime. So <laughs> they can have things like this happen and it just sort of works without needing to worry about the consequences too much. Oh, but, but, oh boy. But, but oh boy. I, I was so worried this episode. Yeah. Oh, because, yeah. I, because uh. like, there are so many ways mm. that they could have taken it into like some 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 really dark areas yep. and i know we were in a matrix world where the physical consequences are you know not right, but really, it's not about the physical but it's not about those thing yeah and, and so and, uh, so it, it yeah it, it was yeah. something where i was really worried because one of the things i was worried that was going to be the carryover from this was that mob would kill someone yep mm-hmm. and it wouldn't matter whether or not they were a spirit a person mm-hmm. or even real right for Mob's mind, it it's would the work same. the same. Yeah. And I think yeah. I think what, what capped it all off as being like, okay, no, he is going to look back on this as an experience. But it's going to be looked back on not with PTSD, but as almost like a, a valley that he, he traversed and he conquered. In some right. ways, not because of himself, but because sure. of friends that yep. came mm-hmm. in and helped That's him. Right. Not even necessarily the best of no friends. exactly dimple is sketchy dimple you know? is on the lowest of the like exactly. friends list in terms yeah. of like how much he cares for mob as a person right like we have people like shoot like i mean the the telepathy the, club telepathy you know. club girl probably yeah. and uh-huh. even um helmet club helmet psych yes yes journalist uh-huh. girl yep, yep, um, yep shoot i always forget her I, name I is it, is I it on the notes i can't remember uh, 
Shoot. Uh, no, nope. I don't but remember. Whatever, don't it's remember. fine. Yeah. But but yeah, the, they, the they... five the, the millionaire, you know, the the millionaire because you know that that money went straight to her. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, it, no, it couldn't have. Well, if anything, I mean, if me. anything, they probably set themselves up, Jacob, as a uh, as a like as a five hundred one c three, right? But, so that the money spent for the organization. Well, okay, they could have set it up as a five hundred one c three, but I mean, but I don't know how I don't, those I don't, kinds how of things are set up in that? Japan. They, they, how, well, how would they even do that too? Because it's not like they're doing any charity work. Well, no, they run on donations. That's the point. Well, right, right. That's because they're not selling any product. But or you anything. don't you don't need to you don't need to like you know prove necessarily like well right but what i'm saying is she's the one in control of the cash I, probably yeah. yeah yeah so so yeah she probably saw the and just, and just passed out you know immediately <laughs> yeah and like she's she's still in high school like it's just like huh okay right <laughs> emails them back and be like um, would you like to be the chairman of the organization? Yeah, because they, I don't feel comfortable handling anything above a three zero, you know, number, oh my you know amount. Oh boy. This goes into the nine zeros or so eight great. zeros category. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um big, big thing mm. for uh Mogami is that his viewpoint now that he showed us kind of his entire backstory. Mm-hmm. Was that I, I'm not sure if we knew about this in the last episode, but the whole thing of him dealing with his mother becoming an evil spirit, and uh, right. her being think, like, yeah. "This was this was your fault," uh-huh. and you, by right. your own mm-hmm. actions, brought about this. Right. What what I think is cool there, and this is a foreshadowing bit, I would say for for future stuff, is that. Mob came to the realization that he can change others in a positive way. Yep. Mm-hmm. The negative spin on is what happened with Mogami. Right. His actions, being an assassin and bringing about all this dark can n- have negativity an effect stuff, on others. has a negative effect on others. But yep. let's let's take this into the real world and stuff. If you bottle up your negative emotions, if you dwell on the negative and you focus on the negative and you stew in the negative, it is a literal physical negative force that goes out and affects your environment around you. Right, because you have power. Because you have power, your words have power, your actions have rippling consequences. Positive and negative. It's it's not something that can be quantified down to the little details things. It's the it's the broad strokes. It's the it's the it's the amalgamation of a bunch of little things that add, add up event, eventually into a big thing. That's why people can stress them out into a six, into a sickness. You can literally make yourself mm-hmm. sick intentionally by like focusing on stress. Like they, yeah. it, it, it works. So in this world, we have psychic powers. Right, and Take, it's all basically just it's exaggerated. Yep. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. So yep. mob. Now is coming out of this with the experience, the trials, mm-hmm. but also the positivity, the way that he approaches and reacts to those trials and sufferings. Mm-hmm. He experienced yeah. what the horror was of all those people right. dying when Mogami's mm-hmm. evil spirits yep. released. Yeah. One so of my, one of my favorite lines from this episode mm-hmm. was him basically saying, you're right. Mm-hmm. The world is a, you know, dark, dark nasty place, place, right? Mm-hmm. That means... Yeah, it really is amazing that I have such wonderful people in my life. Like, yeah. the, the fact that basically he was able to take everything that Mogami was saying mm-hmm. and not reject it, but but accept it. Yes. Yes. And yet not let it control him. You right. Know, basically say, just because there's truth to what you're saying, mm-hmm. I'm not going to let you bludgeon me with that. Yes. Right? I am still my own person. Yes. You can't make me into another one of you. Because we all have choices. We all can change. And we can all choose the way we change. Yeah. So... What what I liked about this here was that this was something where the environment that Mogami created was born within himself initially. Now, one of the things that they mentioned here was that Mogami's powers kind of consumed him. And what I kind of extrapolate okay. that to is if they you remember they equated powers, psychic like powers to emotions. All right. So what yeah. they're basically mm-hmm. saying was Mogami's negative emotions consumed him and he became sure. something else. Mm-hmm. Mob then goes into this long, drawn-out fight. Now, I think if we looked at this in the most shallow of terms, what Mob was doing was he was constantly perceiving the negative 
and he was channeling up his own inner positivity and releasing that mm-hmm. out. And it was this constant back and forth, dark sure. versus light, all that. Right. But fear versus courage. Yeah. Right. But if as we went towards the end of the fight, there's a part where the question mark thing comes up, mm-hmm. and Mob became something. Yeah. He, more. Uh, well, he 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 became less static. He became like smoky and um, right. I think uh, the, the more way liquid and and the, less yeah. less less um. I would say intact. Right. In the, I have an interpretation, but go ahead. Okay. Go well, ahead. the way Mogami yeah. talked about it was mm-hmm. that, okay, this is what's been hiding underneath. So finally, right. Mob has basically been laid bare. His his body mm-hmm. is disintegrated in this spiritual right. world. And now everything that's on the inside, he kind of became a spirit yes. for a while, right? Yeah, he was in a spirit this whole time, but he ended up exactly. accepting in some ways his own... Yeah, nature yeah. nature yeah. Uh-huh. right right and then but because thankfully it was all in a spirit world right mm-hmm. there, there weren't any crazy consequences his body didn't actually disintegrate right i have a i have an interpretation mm-hmm. but keep going keep going well basically just that I, I think it's something that was kind of stated of what was happening but then the yes. fact that mob was still able to come to later that's with, with mm-hmm. seemingly not really any any negative any effects. negative effect yes um is big but it's also slightly concerning because yeah. that makes me wonder if it's something that is again bottled up beneath the surface right so mm-hmm. here's here's my my connective weird theory thing okay they stated in this episode that mob needs to get out of there quickly otherwise he'll lose his sense of self right a lot of what this was was mob accepting the environment being the way it is but also okay. coming to the realization that he himself has the power to the to affect the environment yeah. and by extension the people in that environment uh-huh. in not just a negative way but a positive right. way. Yeah. What ended up happening though is I think the environment beat him. The environment beat him. Okay. He had to let himself be so vulnerable that he let the environment go through. Like, go, go have the, a clean pass all the way through. The, the spirits you're As, talking about? Essentially, the environment being the negative, the evil spirits, yes. Uh-huh. But we've always had this question this whole time of, you know, what is Mob's power? Like, what, 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 like, what, like, what, where does it come from? Is this is it intense emotion that he bottles up because of his mm-hmm. childhood trauma? But then they always, like, come to this thing where it's like, there's the 100%, and then there's these question marks right the beyond percent the beyond percent mm-hmm. where it's not even a question of power it's something else so, so do you think that he absorbed the spirits into himself so what i what i think it is what i think it is is that mob has a this is a this is a trope but i i think it's i think it's something that they could find a way to build in within the mechanics of separating not separating but drawing the connection between mob and and spirits basically is that mob is one that bears the burdens of the the world, the environment, the the, okay. the evil spirits, yeah, not the, just the suffering, kind of not thing. just him. Okay. So the the thing is though is that primarily the burdens of the the environment, the mm-hmm. world, if you will, are negative. They are generally a a negative. Sure. Because if they're burdens, then you know. exactly they're yeah. they're heavy, and I think what mob's story is about is about having this other side of the same coin essentially as they other also mentioned okay. in here there's a lot of imagery of the duality going on um yeah oh you're a whole nother person you know right yeah uh-huh is that at times at times the world can overwhelm us at times the 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 it is okay to it is okay to lose if that makes sense what what i I'm trying to I'm trying to get okay. this at a roundabout the, way, but right, basically, well, right. we the, don't need to be at full strength all the time. Having moments right. of weakness and vulnerability and all that stuff is great. That's part of being human. Mm-hmm. And then from those, when we get you know beaten down by them, then we come back stronger. Right. I think that Mob's actions, Mob's struggles, Mob's efforts, and everything has created basically this thing that has just constantly evolved okay. constantly changing constantly right. growing with every encounter he's fighting gotcha. so 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 like there is some kind of you know some kind of sponge effect if you will in that but it's mostly on the lines of this is something that he has to accept this is mob's darkness right. he will have okay. his light he will have his his gratitude his thankfulness mm-hmm. his courage his joy his happiness and all of that but he has to accept the world's suffering he has to bear it he has to 
he has to resolve and I okay. would say come to the conclusion that that is something that he will never fully have answers to question mark question mark you know it's it's mm. confusing it's raw it's it's horrible but you can make that your strength you can make the you can make the burdens the suffering and all that something mm. that instead of it being something that weighs you down it's something that actually uh-huh feels you because you know that you have some effect on it you have some way that you can positively influence right. it so but this is just mm-hmm. something where in the mechanics of it it's the over dramatized i, sure. I unleash yeah, uh-huh. my innermost darkness right. for the purpose of you know yada, yada yada so do you think it's going to be a, in a literal sense that he is bearing the burdens of other people and that he's got a host of souls swirling around inside him Yes and or, no. Okay, or the other one. That basically it's a, it's a it's something that has become self-sustaining, much in the sense that the uh, the the dragger um, mm. became self-sustaining, but from his own emotions, and that basically it's as a result of the world around him and stuff. And now it's this different thing that is still a part of him, so he needs to come to accept it, yeah. while at the same time balancing the other parts of himself, or like so. Basically, you're going for the the figurative mob centric. Uh, idea. I, I or think the fact that those spirits are still are actually inside him. I think you are attacking it exactly like I am from like a bunch of different angles. So all of it is basically right. Okay. I think the way in which it, it in which you're trying to separate the contradiction of it is that one is more figurative and one is more literal. Right. Does mob actually like because because the whole thing of like yeah. you know the burdens of the world. Mm-hmm. It's like I I get that if he's got like spirits inside him, right? Yes, and I think that's that's a that's a that's the most literal way we can take it. Uh-huh. But if but we want to think about the that, metaphysical then it's, then it's narr- just mobs emotions, mobs emotions, mobs yes. issues that he has from just living life, mobs pain, right? Mobs, exactly, yeah, yes, because he hasn't felt like he he doesn't have a way to actually express it in a way that is good and healthy because right. he is afraid of causing damage. Right. I I think I think. We, we go back to the first season, the whole idea that he has a complex now, that he has basically a, a problem expressing emotion, and he still is exploding. This is this is part of the reason why I think this oh, is the gotcha. way it is, is that Mob has his 100% explosion thing still going. Mm-hmm. And it's that's, in the title, so it probably won't be going away anytime soon. No, but, but I think that's how the show will end. Right, is that it will go away. Yeah. And then he will no longer mm-hmm. explode because right, he's the, the complex that, is yeah. gone. Uh-huh. So yep. I, I think that you're right in that it is definitely somewhat literal there is some aspect of spirits inside him or spirit or his own spirit or or whatever I, i'm just talking about the spirits that were yes there. yes yes like, I, do, do you think those like the way that that got resolved is that mob just drew them into himself yes okay yes in some ways yes well, i think it's it's something where i don't I mean, know if he destroyed them like he exercised uh, sure, them. Yeah. Are they still in there or did he just, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I, I think it's a combination, obviously. Like at least some of them were exercised. Like, I mean, he was sure, just but, exploding stuff well, right, everywhere. But, yeah, but at the at the point, if we're talking about with the number of spirits and yes. stuff that there were, if he's got them still inside him in any point that will actually change anything, right? Mm-hmm. Then it would be some, you know, crazy hurricane. Not like yeah. the three that he wasn't able to exercise because then he just exercised them later or whatever. Right. I, I think that what we're seeing now is we're seeing a a gradual turn of mobs explosions being in the positive. We ended season one with okay. uh, gratitude, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I believe uh-huh. that was gratitude. And then this one was this courage. This one was courage or or happiness. I, no, I, I think, I think they, it was courage. They specifically said courage. So. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's wanting to save somebody. Yeah. yeah, and it was something that came out specifically because of how dark it was yeah. around him. It's, and, yeah, and yeah. I love how because it was something that was courage, it was something that was very much, you know, like, uh, it's the basically the being the hero. Yes. He then took on that heroic appearance. Yes, and, and he was like, like twinkling yeah, yeah, and exactly. glowing. And, and it's just, just like, wait a minute, actually, who are you? <laughs> yes. Like, that. I thought that was great because they everything that happened this episode could theoretically happen in the real world mm-hmm. because mob is that powerful but right. at the same time it is in a spirit world reality marble where it doesn't have to be that right right so the fact that they had that happen is great from a you know figurative standpoint you know right uh, the the metaphor um but well yeah and mainly just the metaphor thing because i i love the idea of this being not just mobs a part of mob's nature you yeah. know that he has this side of him 
but that he is able to recognize that side of himself mm. because yeah. it's because it's yeah. something that he basically oh. grabbed hold of and was able to accept and that's why the appearance changed right right otherwise it wouldn't have he's done courageous stuff before but he's never had this happen so um yes and i i, uh, yeah. I do want to say like mob has never experienced darkness like this before either though the one time where he actually kind of went all out in a way to protect someone With like Ritsu? this was Ritsu and that was when he was knocked out. Right. And, and those kids was... might be dead. <laughs> like I'm talking about um I'm talking about when he was older. Oh, in the alleyway. Right. Not, oh, not, oh, not, gotcha. not when he oh, was okay. not with Ritsu yeah. when he was like four or something. I'm yeah. talking about I'm talking about gotcha. when the, the, the guy with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, went around his arm and right. okay. you know, that, that part. Right, and he was he was protecting someone there, but he mm. was kind of just being a punching bag until he got uh-huh. knocked out, yeah. and then yeah. the question mark thing yeah. came out. And again, yeah. I want Hanazawa to come back because he's so great. We need to see his wonderful hair; it just has to happen. Was he at the school assembly? I don't when think so. No, because he's from another school. He's from another school. From no, another that, school. Was, um, that was that uh, was the. The guy who does the ora 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 actually in season one. Oh, really? <laughs> the the guy with the. Uh, the well actually he has hair like um oh are you like talking Josuke about the, in, uh, yeah, 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 the, the um the the delinquent that joined yes. the body improvement club. yes yeah, exactly yeah. Uh-huh. um <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but the thing is is that like we need some more because hanazawa's from vinegar tenga tenga vinegar, is his right? name oh tenga yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 um but but we need some more vinegar in this in this salt show in this so, salt show <laughs> so like i mean however hey, they I'm, can make it work I'm for it like it's yeah it needs to happen because definitely because yeah yeah <laughs> um one thing that i really want to see happen here mm-hmm. is mob actually spending time in an episode letting other people know how much he values them because yes. what i yes. don't want to have happen here is just to see him talk about it here about mm-hmm. how much he values them and not show yeah. him mm-hmm. doing yep. that yep. because one of the things that's dangerous about doing a storyline like this Mm -hmm. is because it all happened in an alternate space and stuff well and within one episode and within one episode Mm -hmm. i mean there was the stuff in the previous episode but especially specifically with what mob went through in this episode Mm -hmm. you don't want to have its effects be invisible after this yeah i'm not talking about negative things i'm talking about positive things all of it right because yes because that's this episode and the one previous were so huge mm-hmm. were so huge you can't just have them be ignored you can't have their like, their consequences that, fade into the story that, that will be, be a gaping again. hole that will be felt if, yep. if it doesn't have consequences yeah so um i liked that the the claw guy stuck around because he was yeah. like oh no i'm i'm smart whichever yep. one comes out they will be I'll weak capture. and i will capture them yep mm-hmm. you you sick bastard! You're yeah, genius. It's, it's a it's a great great extra, like basically plot point for the future of the fact that now there's a super powerful spirit that's been captured by Claw. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And and in in some ways, in some ways, that's a way that they can build up a Mogami Keiji return, mm-hmm. maybe with him taking over Claw. Sure. Yeah. Like, like imagine if that guy screws up, mm-hmm. accidentally lets them out, or he does that thing again with the jar. I don't <laughs> think he can... I don't know if the jar is still around, but he puts a bunch of evil spirits all in, you know, the sure. jar again. Mogami Keiji consumes them mm-hmm. because he lost a lot of his power. So he's not actually yeah. that dangerous anymore. Right, yeah. He probably... he like Yeah, because all the spirits that were inside him that he was using to get more powerful are not there anymore. So right. there's that. But, yeah. but if he puts him in another collective jar thing again... Exactly. He could, he could start doing his thing again. Turn. What I would just love to see, though, is like Reagan ends up like going into i don't know how this would work i don't know how this would work but at some point reagan gets his hands on that file and it's just like oh weird and he like throws it away (laughs) it just like goes down like the sewer or something you know sent into the ocean exactly it just sinks to the bottom yeah it's just there forever fish you know. kind of swims here and just goes yeah, and yeah, just yeah. Kind of like, swims away <laughs> that would be so great that would be so great yeah i think i think i think they they had mogami keiji instead of being just despicable they had him be a cautionary tale for mob yes mm-hmm. they had him basically yeah. be a look at what an alternate future 
like his life mm-hmm. essentially was an alternate future right. for mob if yeah. he decided to forego uh people or just he didn't have people like reagan in his life for instance uh-huh. he you know might have found a way to become socially adept and then become a little popular and then take it into earning money and then ends up finding some way to be a positive influence via helping people with advice and stuff. But the sure. world, the environment, the whole suffering of just right. humanity and stuff like that starts to weigh on him and he doesn't he doesn't seek help. He yeah. he just continues to bear his own burdens and mm-hmm. stuff, and then eventually he snaps. Yeah. So I'm and yeah. And I'm really glad that they made it be something that was outside help. They didn't have mob mm-hmm. explode in the beginning or anything like that. Like like mob yes. really wasn't going to be able to do anything. Yeah. Um, I like though that so, Reagan trusted that he could, even yes. though Reagan was being stupid, and he mm-hmm. admitted, "Yeah, I'm stupid because I believe in mob, and mob is stupid." And he, right. you know, he he we're makes the crazy together. things happen. Yeah, we're all stupid together. Yeah, exactly. So, there yep. you go, y'all. This was an amazing episode. Mob Psycho season two is Ooh. amazing. Mm-hmm. Tell your friends, watch this show. Yes, so good. Something else to tell your friends mm-hmm. about. So, yes. my sci-fi novel, Battle Lines, is available Aye. for pre-order. Yep. Um, link to the Kickstarter down in the pinned comment down below. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Get a copy for yourself. Tell your friends and family because it's amazing and you should definitely read it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So if you want to watch uh, our full-length reactions to Mob Psycho, check also out link in the description below mm-hmm. for our Patreon. Any level of support there gets you access to our Discord, where you can chat with us about stories. Uh, we will be in the Mob Psycho 100 spoiler chat as long as we're talking only anime uh, mm-hmm. specific stuff. You know, with anime only knowledge and stuff. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all. Next time.